Welcome back to a Let's Play Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness. Here's the Google mic. Yes. And yeah. Seems to be doing trick. So, a previous recording was fairly crap. One, because the audio, I'm having to like adjust the audio to put it in sync and all that. And editing was boring. It's like battle after battle with the same old peons. I mean, they had different Pokemon, but they might as well have the same Pokemon. I mean, it's not, Pokemon battles are alright and all, and that's kind of like one of the main points of the game and all, but when they're like one after the other, it can get a bit tedious. Yay, thank you for saving us! We were alone, my daughter and I. We had no idea what would become of us. Thank you very, very much. We don't have different dialogues, so piss off. Yeah, what are you doing? I still got things to do here, now before we go to the next city. I only really remember this because uh, I just, like, finished editing for the previous part, like, maybe an hour or so ago. Any new dialogues? The nerve. The nerve. Kind of like abruptly <laughs> just change the topic. Topic. Well, I wasn't really talking about anything in general, but like free. What the hell is he doing there? And who the hell's that? But before we engage in conversation with these two, you know, three nights in a row, the internet connection's crap. It's like before recording for like maybe an hour or so, the audio. Wait, what am I? Uh, I just confused what I was talking about there. The audio, the internet connection was just like not working at all. And now it's working again. And it only started working again when I was like setting up ready for recording. It's like, okay, now it'll work. Oh, Megra is released unharmed. I'm happy to hear that. It's a complete wipeout. The ARM servers have been scrubbed clean of every bit of data. Those sight creeps, how could they do something so hideous? Because they're villains. What else do you expect them to do, really? Anything new to say? Those folks appear to have left. Thanks for driving them off. Eh, uh, nope. Same dialogue. Let's go talk to Muscle Man and whoever that person is. I know there were a lot of them, but we shouldn't have been that unprepared. I was giving Chief Ch Girl Girls a yeah, rundown of the bits. Ah, yeah, he's the Pirate Sound Sheriff guy. It's amazing they pulled a the keeper of this, of this scale so recently in broad daylight. If this incident is any indication, it appears certain that Cypher would become even more active in the day to days to come. Shrew, shrew! No, honestly, I was wondering where the hell they all were. I mean, when all that was going down, they were just like, where were they? Hey, where were you? Oh, am I in trouble? I was distracted for just a minute, and a prisoner gave me the slip and escaped. Chief would be furious for me yet again. Pow! God damn it, man. He needs to hire a new staff. Wait, what's this? This guy didn't get out. The guy in the other cell made a clean get. Anyway, it seems lucky him. He's with Team Snagger, you know, that guy that got involved in all sorts of shenanigans with Cypher. Back in the day, they used to steal Pokemon from trains using some kids when they called the Snag Machine. <laughs> what I laugh is that. I fought Team Snagger when committed years ago, but I guess it's still around. 
Gotta keep your eyes on Team Snagger, man. I wonder where Evis, the villain from the previous game, is being held. Because if he was being in hell there, I don't think that would work out well. In combat. Now before we do- wait. Ah yeah, Phoenix City, a gorgeous oasis-like city that is targeted by Cypher. And funny enough, it was the headquarters of the main villain for quite some time throughout the majority of the game, and we never noticed until the end. Where he was like, No, I am Dr. Robotnik! Ha 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 ha! Oh, it's a wild shantru. I was wondering, is this the same music from the previous encounter with the trappings? Or is it slightly different? Wait, 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 wait. Espion would knock that sand through out in one shot. Let's go with Teddy. You know, I was looking up the levels to, like, evolve Pokemon and all that, and for Teddy Ursa to evolve into Earth Ring, that's gonna take a long time. Like, a ridiculously long time. Uh, Lick. Ow! Lick. But that's kind of to be expected. I don't want to use Return because it probably one shot him. What? This is taking forever. The job is done. Let's switch to... Uh... Maybe Delgatti? Ow! Now I will hit you with Secret Power and hope that he doesn't one shot you. Wait, 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 that Sandshrew is paralyzed and got the first attack anyway. How slow must Delcaddy be for that to happen? Oh, it's confused now as well. That ass. Pokeball! Agoo! One, two, three, yay. Hmm, I can never think of a name on the spot, you know. Not really used to naming Pokemon. All the snacks are gone, that was one greedy sand food. You know, while we're at it, it's, uh... Put the uh, some of the yellow snacks in you know, the oasis place. But free. So apparently you can buy those in shops. So let's go back to HQ. Do do do. This book man is already open the door to his heart, blah blah blah. Open the door to its heart. Reggae, the break. And forget the move refresh. Many Pokemon seem to be regaining the move refresh and ribbons. There's another Pokemon that is ready to open the dessert. Would you like to switch sets? 
Oh, so the only two left is another one that's already ready for that. Otherwise, just like, no. Nope. Just like, have to, like, redo that. There's one angry bald orb. Which makes its na nickname that I'm gonna give it a little bit more fitting, I suppose, since it looks kind of like. Ah! Bald orb opened the door to its heart. Regain the move Miracle. And move fresh again. Obtain the ribbon! Okay, I'm gonna give you a bit of an interesting name. I mean, look how angry it looks. Because you broke my winning streak of one Pokeball per Pokemon, it doesn't happen to use two Pokeballs, I will name you... Brock. And what the hell does that mean? Uh, I'm kind of referencing, uh... Brock Lesnar the wrestler because of the streak thingamajig. I haven't actually watched wrestling in years, but I have been paying a bit more attention to it in the past year or so. Mostly Botchamania though, but yeah. That bastard broke my streak. How dare he. Wait, do I need healing? Mm, well, Teddy could use some healing, but it takes too much time. We'll do that later. I say that takes too much time and I proceed to use an elevator, which takes more time than that. Hi Michael, how are things? We haven't got any word back from Net yet. Nah, tell Crane uh, what had happened at arms. What such a Donorum contain detailed plans for the who is involved in the SS Libra in Phoenix City? An arms was attacked by Cypher 2. No wonder we couldn't communicate with them. Okay, understood. Please, you've got to get to Phoenix City as soon as possible. I'm counting on you, Michael. Cypher's conspiracy can be shadowed only by you, Michael, and that snack machine. It's only because you can't be asked to do it yourself. You're going to Phoenix City to save the city from Cypher, aren't you? I don't want you to do anything dangerous, but you're not one to be... The Good once you set your mind to do something. I wonder, did you get that from your father, or maybe it's me you've gotten that trait from? Fine, go on, dear. I'm sure that you will be okay. All parents in Pokemon games are just like, yeah, it's dangerous, but yeah, you can do that. Oh no, really? Cypher is going to attack Phoenix City. They're going to, there's, go, no, there's going to be trouble. You've got to let the people there know before it's too late. You'd better go there right away. I wonder if everyone has new dialogue now. You certainly don't. Toby hasn't come around to play yet today. I wonder what games you want to play today. Now, only the scientists are really interested in the plot. Could have looked at the TV while I was there, but oh well. Oh, hi, big brother. Welcome home. Listen, listen. Did you catch any wild Pokemon? Well, wow, awesome. That's why you're Joby's brother. You're not like ordinary people. That be totally like an ordinary Pokemon trainer in LL region. No matter what it is, blah, blah blah blah. I have no new dialogue for you now. On your way. Are your Pokemon doing well? I formed a combo with this baby here. I want to make it a battle lot so it can evolve quickly. Jared, <laughs> mock me. The Ralts got away. <laughs> But I did confirm that Mirror B actually does have any of the Shadow Pokemon that you miss, which makes sense, because he, like, did boast about, like, I'm gonna get all the Pokemon, they all belong to us, more specifically me, or something like that. So it makes sense for uh, that, you know? I just realized I didn't really adjust the... Well, I could do that on a computer, couldn't I? Well, off to Phoenix City, but yeah. And the Pokemon do seem to wander off and all that, and he is known as a wanderer now, so maybe. That guy is. Wait, his Pokemon's evolved. Wait, did he have a cast form before? What's he doing with Duskull? It seems that the people here haven't really changed. 
The music has, but the people haven't. So that's kind of neat, really, how they don't change the people and just like, oh, new people instead of like reoccurring characters that didn't really have much importance, but they're still reoccurring characters. Welcome to Phoenix and hooray, congratulations, incredible as it may seem, you're exactly the one billion visitor to Phoenix. What? In commemoration, please accept this, a disc case which already comes with some battle CDs. It's, it's like the equivalent of when you like, Go end up on a website that has a pop up and he's just like, You are the 1000th visitor! Click here for virus! Except in this case, it's actually you do win a prize! This case! I suppose she'd know if there were like how many people pass. She's always standing at the entrance, she probably takes notes, I don't know. So I have no idea what these battle CDs are. Okay, you should take that to the Relgum Tower next to the town. Go, go, go! The Relgum Tower is a short ways away in the northwest. You'll see it right away. The Relgum Tower is a top battling facility where trainers can enjoy battle sims, among other events using battle CDs. Off you go, have a good time! I'm guessing Relgum Tower is probably like, uh changed like from boss HQ to just being like a form of battle tower or something like that I have no idea just like I came to warn the people of the town but you've like you've picked my interest in Relgum Tower hey what are they do what are they doing here what is it with these battle CD things we're gonna be here all right but when the battle ends they just fade away you don't get to keep them what is this like Digimon when they just fade away Ah, sheesh, I dropped all my secret savings into there because I thought I'd get rare Pokemon for real. There goes my money down the per real drain. Let's get out of here. So is it like, um, the Battle Factory in, uh, Pokemon Emerald's Battle Frontier where you use Pokemon that aren't yours and you can temporarily the battle strategy and all that to jazz and get points? What do we do with these Battle CD things? Well, good they if they won't give us any Pokemon. Just toss them out somewhere. I guess they didn't notice us. The music's still the same, but maybe remixed. Protein! This is Relgum Tower. It's the summit of battling. Let's see. There are the Colosseum Battles, Battle Sims, and Battle Bingo. So many choices, I can't decide what kind of battle I should try today. I'm supposed to keep quiet about it, but I was the one million, uh, one million visitor to Phoenix City. So it's like, any visitor will get CDs then. So someone in Phoenix gave me a battle CD as a memento. Well, don't you think that's lucky? I intend to stay around here for some more good times. Wow, I can never get over how tall this place is. On top of that tower is a Colosseum. I'd love to take uh, part in Colosseum battles, but I'm afraid of heights. And back there took place the final battle of the game in Pokemon Colosseum. Where we battled Dr. Robotnik, uh, no, Evis, I mean, yes. And won, and he was like, ah, damn it. And like, I remember these Pokeballs, you had to like, battle all the admins to get, oh, why is this stuff even hanging around here? And then just like, you needed to like, battle the admins in four different locations before moving on. I wonder where the admins are nowadays, I mean, we know where Mira B is, well, sort of. He's just kind of wander off everywhere, I have no idea. But the other admins, I wonder if they're in the game or not. I'm not saying and battle sims aren't fun, they are, but I prefer doing things for real. That battle is more my style. Let me tell you that I'm striving at now a non stop 100 trainer run through monk battle. I don't rightly know if my Pokemon or I have the willpower to gut it out, but it's something I will do one of these days. I did that in the Coliseum LP, and I remember like loads of parts where it was just fed up and it was like a montage of music because of how obscenely long it was. Because there wasn't much to comment on, it's just like, battle, battles, same old battles, battles, 
Welcome to Railgum Tower. The pride of Phoenix City it is fully interrogated facility dedicated to battling. Trainers may take part in Coliseum battles, battle sims, and battle bingo. We sincerely hope you enjoy uh, enjoy to your heart's content all that we have to offer. Also, you can earn poker coupons here. They can be exchanged at Mount Battle for items and TMs. Oh, your face. I've seen you somewhere before. Um, where was it now? I remember now. You were on TV. Um, you were with that mustache man. But you know what? You look better on TV than in person. What a random compliment. Wow, this place has changed. Then this place used to be like, uh... I don't know, it was like a kind of cafe-like area, or maybe it was the other area that I'm thinking of. Welcome, you may exchange battle sims here using battle CDs. Unfortunately, fees made off of a huge hole recently, so we only have a whole selection of battle CDs available right now. What's more, two customers just came in and bought up most of what we had left. Lamb gas, it was Stradley and Volley or whatever. Oh, but if you have battle CDs of your own, you certainly may use them for battle sims. Please do let me know if you have a battle CD you would like to play, so how may I serve you today? You may conduct battle sims using battle CDs here. Would you like to give it a try? Hmm... I'll pass. We look forward to your next challenge. You know, I'll check this place out in more detail some other time, because I kind of got informed in Phoenix City about, like, Cypher's attacks. The mayor of Phoenix used to drop in pretty much every day, but I haven't seen him around for some while now. Hope he's not sick or anything. Well, if you're talking about the previous mayor, you turned out to be Dr. Robotnik's, uh, I would say evil cousin, but they're both evil. Seriously, if Phoenix City has a mayor now, and it's like another villain mayor, they should probably consider never having a mayor ever again in that place, you know? But I don't know yet until we actually meet the mayor. And even then, it all depends how the plot goes. It'd be funny if she stops us again. It's like, oh, you're the million... Here's, sir, here's some more battle CDs for you. <laughs> it looked like she was about to do that. He's like, oh shit, no. I've seen him before. Oh, you're back already. You should have gone off to play at the Relgum Tower forever. What the hell happened to you, man? You used to be like, you know, I can't even remember. You didn't really have much personality to begin with. Now you're just like, go to Relgum Tower. Battle forever. Hey, man. Why have you got a dust skull nowadays? What happened to the cast form? I think it was the cast form. You had a cast form last time, right? Well, why have you got a dust skull? What if we'll evolve into a dust club and then dust snow? Will it be sinister like the one in... No? Maybe. I don't know. Hi. Hup two! Hup two! Hup. You're looking for the mayor's house, huh? Um, where is it now? What? How can you forget? You live here, man! Get back here! Dust skull! Talk to me, dust skull! I see you still stand outside the shop. That's nice to know. Dust dust. Sorry, kid, we're not open today. Shops need to take holidays too, right? Ha ha ha. Ha ha. Ha ha. But no days pass in this game. <sighs> this uniform's too tight on me. This is all there was that fit me, though. Ah, uh, it's nothing I was just thinking out loud. Hey, the layout's still the same. I'm a trainer, I've been on the road, but what is it with this town's Pokemon Center? There's no one here. How am I supposed to get my Pokemon healed? We're kind of hooked here. What the hell's going on? We could just climb over the counter. But, uh, that would be logical. Let's see, have we got any Pokemon? Yeah, we've got two Shadow Pokemon here. That could use a bit of that. Uh, wait, we gotta like choose the direction there. Uh, uh, I don't think it really has any type of advantages going on there, so I'll just leave it at that. Is there anyone downstairs? Oh, this place is deserted. How very suspicious.
just the yeah, the kid's still out. Wait, no, it was a different kid last time, wasn't it? Hey, you a visitor? Oh, so you're traveling? This is the prestige pre except center, but everyone just calls it pre gym. The leader is Justy. He's very skilled and he's a great person. Everyone looks up to him. Hi, this is pre gym. Actually, it's real name, Prestige Precept Center, but everyone calls it pre -gym. So what's up with the music in this place? It like kind of goes off like... And there's like... I mean, is this like the theme of this place now, or is it... I don't know. It's weird, I'll teach you the same thing she usually wouldn't say. Oh, hello, are you here to attend my class? I'm glad you're here to hear this. Pokemon are just tools for battling. Use them wisely and destroy your opponents without mercy. How suspicious indeed. Something's funny going on here. And by funny, I don't mean funny as in humorous. There's a list titled The Pokemon Trainer Commitments. Pokemon are tools for battle. Destroy enemies with Pokemon, draw Pokemon for easy means. Perhaps that is why this music sounds a bit kind of sinisterish. I think Cypher are already taken over. Hey, Justy, do you know what's going on? Mm, you're an unfamiliar face. Are you a traveling trainer? My name's Justy. I'm the leader of this prestige precept center. Things are too hectic, so all the battles here are cancelled. Can I help you anything? Uh, what's that? Cypher is going to attack the town, and you came to warn the mayor. <laughs> are you sure you didn't dream all this up? God damn it, Justy! I thought I could trust you with this! Now I'm really curious as to know what the hell's going on in this town. It's obvious Cypher is up to something, but maybe that woman was actually a Cypher peon in disguise. And the real teacher is being held hostage. I have no idea. Excuse me. The mayor's house sits right over there. Now that you mention it, I haven't seen him around lately. Has he gone away on vacation? You know, I wonder if they even got a new mayor, like the original mayor got arrested, and I wonder if they were never informed or something. I have no idea. The mayor's gone out. Who knows when he'll decide to come back. Oh, house-sitting is so deadly dull. Oh, it's so boring, boring. We bring you Om's News. This is a story on the man who works inside Pirate's Landmark, the town's green. I oh, for God's sake, woman, I thought you were going to report on the plots that happened. Wait. Maybe, I don't know, I wasn't really paying attention to what you said. Oh, hi, guy, the mayor's bedroom's upstairs. There's no going up there. Oh, I'm so bored. If there were some music, it might make things less boring. Is that a hint? Do I need to, like, have music play here? <laughs> How do I do that? Here is to be a device for playing music software. Oh. Ah, we got a mini side quest thing going on, have we? So we gotta find music. And not the music that's currently playing. Music, music, makes the world go round. Hey, you got an Absol. Isn't this one fine town? We'll be living here for a long time. I think it's awesome. Isn't that right, Absol? Is anybody home? Got any music? Hey, what's this? <laughs> oh, you have music! Don't mind if I take this, right? Appears to be a music disc with a song by a pop idol. Oh, that is popular among girls, but it's not what a man like me needs or wants. But I just happen to have it. Seems a waste to just throw it out, so you can have it. Take it with you, okay? Oh, and if you're tired, feel free to have a snooze in that bed there. What the hell's up with <laughs> this town is just weird. Do you remember that music disc? It's a problem among girls, but it's not what a man like me needs or wants. Seems as vain as a lot of me and blah. Then why do you have it? Meanwhile, his daughter comes over later that day. He's like, where's my CD, Dad? Oh, um, I uh, gave it to some kid. What? That was a very short quest, wasn't it? Okay, I guess we have to do this manually then. Uh, music disc. A primitive love song by a pop star. It is a big seller. 
What? Just a bit of advice for playing music software. Well, I've got a CD. Why can't it be used? Lady, do you want the CD? Oh, how don't you have something nice? Let me see. Oh, wow, score. Maybe this will make things less boring. Here's the disc. Oh, wow, it's Rumber of Love. I'll borrow this. No, no, leave me alone. You're spoiling my concentration. He's lost in the music. We could go upstairs. 